everyone, I hope you're well. So as on the title, this is quite a large food shop from Asda. I basically spent 96 pounds and 16 pence, probably one of the largest shops I've done in a really long time. Um, unless I go to Costco, then usually it's a little bit higher or around the same price. But I kind of got to the weekend and our freezer's like empty. And I just said to Grail, I really need to do like a proper stock up. I've been doing like lazy shops recently, very convenient and just just meals of for literally the week and nothing else. I haven't really been buying any more. So a lot of this stuff will be for the freezer. Um, yeah, so 96 pounds in Asda. I think I got quite a lot for my money. So I will show you my haul now. I'm gonna start over here. One thing I like to mention is that there is no fruit and that's because we get a fruit box every week from the farmer's market and that just does, there's just no point buying fruit because we always have so much. But um, yeah, there were a few things that they didn't have as well. A, quite a few of their like aisles were kind of bare. They're sort of shelvings and um, I couldn't get spinach, which I wanted and kale. But um, anyway, I got a big spring greens. That is for the rabbits. 70p, I think it is. I got a beetroot, baby spinach and baby kale salad. They only had like the mixed bags. They didn't have like the big bags. Um, of them just individually. I've got three lots of peppers, the sweet peppers, and then cucumber. I fancy trying this rainbow rice. Uh, it's just a microwave thing that you just pop in just for a quick sort of, it could be a lunch or it could be a good side dish. Um, I also got some root veg mash, one thing we really like, and again, it was quite good uh, price, you know, for convenience. Um, I'm working quite a bit, so it's handy to have like these sorts of things because it just helps Graham out as well. Um, I did get some of this, I don't even know how you say that, broccoli, but it's kind of like purple sprouting broccoli, I would say. It looks quite nice. So I got that. I got some carrots, sweet potatoes, some like Maris Piper potatoes, two lots of the sweet corn a broccoli head, and then I got just some frozen veggies. We've literally run out of everything. So I got some mixed veg, some garden peas, some sweet corn, and whole green beans. I find these types of veggies, veggies are great frozen. Um, and again, just easy and quick, just to pull out from the freezer if you've run out of fresh. Uh, potato croquettes, the kids love those. And then I also got some potato waffles. We all love those. Um, I've got some extra lean mints, just turkey mints. I'm actually going to do some turkey meatballs. And then I've got some diced chicken breast. Um, they're doing them in these um, sort of 50% less packaging. I thought that was a little bit different. And they do a variation of sizes as well. So I've got that. And then I've got two lots. Uh, there's two. There's a two pack of mussels with, roasted, with a roasted garlic and butter sauce. I love mussels. I think I'm going to actually pop them in the freezer for next week if they can be frozen. I had to check the label. Um, and then I got some pizzas literally to go into the freezer as well just for the kids. Again, just for like, you know, when they do after school clubs and stuff, it's easy just to throw one of these in the freezer for them. I've got two ham and cheese and then two cheese and tomato. Um, I've got some clover. Dip and crunch, these are great for pat lunches. And then I also got the um, Ritz Dunkers. They were on offer for that pack. Some Froobs strawberry flavor yogurts. They were a pound. And then I also got some of the yogurts for the children, the cherry, strawberry, and black blackberry and raspberries. Um, they're great for school and these are great for at home. Some cheese singles for burgers and then i got some pork sausage rolls two lots of mozzarella for pizza this week i was going to do some homemade pizza and then we've got a little pack of creamy coleslaw i always like getting a small one because the kids aren't really that into it and me and graham are the only ones that really eat it with with like a meal as a, like a little bit of a side or something like that so i thought i'd get the smallest one um i got two lots of, um of the alpro these are the yogurts. I haven't had these in a while. They're four for three pounds and they only had two flavors. So I got the strawberry and the mango, which are my two favorite flavors anyway. Um, they're really, really nice. Beetroot hummus, I thought we'd try that. Something a bit different for lunches. Again, I really fancied the uh, soft cheese and herb olives. 
I think they were one pound something. The Cathedral City was on offer. Although we don't eat a lot of cheese, it's quite handy to have. And this two pack was three pounds fifty, which is really good. Um, I actually got this for myself because I know nobody else will eat it in the house. So um, yeah, and I really fancied it. It's a crustless broccoli and cheddar quiche. I thought that could be my little lunch today. So I got that and I got two lots of ham. These were two for three pounds, honey roasted and breaded. Uh, three pack of sweet corn. The kids have really been into sweet corn recently, like just having it as a, like a random like lunch snack or having it as a side um, for dinner. And then I got a four pack of the no added sugar Asda's baked beans. I think they're only a pound for a four pack. I got some cheese curls and frazzles for crispies this week. And then the pick up milk chocolate sort of five pack of bars and then a six pack of the Jaffa cakes. I am actually quite partial to a Jaffa cake myself. Uh, they were both a pound each. Um, some orange and pineapple juice, some Sprite for myself. I I love a glass of something like fizzy on the Friday or Saturday and that's usually uh, Sprite is usually what I go for. Pepsi Max for Graham. Um, chocolate soya milk for me and I also got the original but as does sort of version and then I got an extra large tasty chicken again I thought that would be good for lunches um, or actually they could probably I'm working this evening so they could probably do that for a meal tonight two lots of wholemeal toasty bread I think this is 50p for the loaf um, they're both going to go in the freezer um, I got some brioche rolls and the chocolate chip brioche rolls. They were 85p each. I went a bit bagel crazy as well. They had these bagels, the Warburton's. These are sliced as well, five pack. They were both a pound a pack. And the cinnamon raisin are like my absolute favourite. And then I ended up getting the bagel thins soft and seeded as well. These were down to 80p. I also really like those, but we all will eat them. And a lot of these will be going in the freezer once I work out which ones we want out. Uh, the rices were a pound each. So I got Mediterranean vegetable, spicy Mexican, and two lots of the long grain and wild rice. Got some Warburton's crumpets. This was a nine pack for a pound. Kitchen towel, because we run out. Um, some wholemeal mini wraps. These are great for school lunches. Alistair loves these. Super uh, chicken noodle soup. Um, again, it's just a staple just to keep in the uh, pantry. And then I got Violet some of the chewy multivitamin berry flavor um, vitamins. So we have some jelly ones and she won't eat them, but Alistair will. So she actually prefers the kind of powdered ones, if that makes sense, not the jelly type. And she just ran out of the ones that she had. So I thought I'd get her um, some more. These are actually only £1.50 for 60 tablets, which is quite good. Paracetamol, some chocolate Weetabix. This has been like one of my go-to things at the moment. The kids have been loving it as well. I've tried the ones from Lidl. They're really good. I've tried the mini ones. Um, yeah, they are just yeah a bit of a morning treat, but they're not too bad, if you know what I mean. They're kind of sweet without like throwing sugar on them or anything. Uh, chocolate hoops as well. I just thought the kids might like those. And I got some decaffeinated ground coffee as does version. This was only £1.45, so I thought I'd give that a go. It's decaf. Two lots of whole wheat spaghetti. They were two for a pound. And then I basically bought their choice of sort of tomato-based sauces. A lot of the time I just throw in an extra can of tomato, like chopped tomatoes. So I got the smooth bolognese, tomato and garlic, and chunky veg, tomato puree, and then lastly, two lots of thick bleach. Okay, so I thought I would quickly add on my meal plan. So for tonight, I actually already got some meat out of the freezer for like this week. Um, so we've got some burgers that Graham made. I think we've got two pork and honey, random flavors he makes, two pork and honey, which the kids will have, and then me and Graham are having the beef and onion burgers. Um, I also pulled out um, some brioche buns, which I bought like a double batch a couple of weeks ago, and this pack went in the freezer. So I've got that out. I'm gonna have corn on the cob on the side. Um, because I'm at work, Graham will be doing that dinner. 
Um, and then tomorrow I'm going to be doing the turkey meatballs using that mince that you saw. Um, just a really quick sort of meatball recipe. I've already got breadcrumbs and you literally just add breadcrumbs to some seasonings and one egg. And then you just make your meatballs with the mince. Um, yeah, I'm going to do uh, kind of like a bolognese sauce and spaghetti as well. So that is going to be one meal as well. Um, I've also got some garlic bread in the freezer, so I might put that with it. Um, and then I've also got some sausages out of the freezer. Um, I think they're just pork best sausages from what I remember. I'm going to do a sausage pasta bake. Super easy. It's, all, it's like a quick meal, isn't it? So I'm going to do that and all the family love that. Um, and then also with the chicken that um, you saw that I got today, I'm going to do the diced chicken, I mean, like the raw stuff. I'm going to do this butter. I've been meaning to do this for ages. Butter chicken. Um, I've never had it before, but I found this and it's been in my cupboard for ages and I thought I'd just use it up. So basically you just throw the chicken in like this bag and it already has like the seasoning inside or you tip in the seasoning. It might, yeah, I think you tip in the seasoning and then you just stick it in the oven for like 45 to 50 minutes. I'm going to serve that with mash and broccoli. So that's going to be one meal and then on Friday we are going to have homemade pizza. It's requested by the kids all the time and I haven't done homemade in ages. I've been just buying it in basically and we're topping, you know, adding the toppings. But I'm going to get the kids to actually do it with me on Friday. Um, I do have a pizza dough recipe. It's really, really easy. So um, yeah, that is pretty much meal plan for the week. Just trying to, I don't know, switch it up a little bit. Um, and... Yeah, I hope it's giving you some inspiration. Don't forget to check out my recipe playlist because there are some recipes and simple little um, kind of ideas on there if you need some inspiration. Uh, yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this video and I will see you all soon.